Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my long overdue June, July-ish kind of um, bench update. So, being super busy, um, as always, um, not fortunately not scale modeling. So I'm actually just back for a new Top Gun movie. I just saw it in the movie theater. Um, it's been out a few weeks and um, I'm a bit of a buzz, aviation buzz right now. So I thought, you know what? I've been mean to do this for a few days. Just get this video filmed and put it up on YouTube. And um, there we go. So I'm gonna do a few spoilers. I think, the, well, Top Gun's been out for a few weeks now. Um, so most people have probably seen it. I'm gonna go talk about a few spoilers right now. So if you've not seen it, um, just fast forward a couple of minutes. Um, and um, yeah, so fair warning. So. I nearly filmed it a few years ago, um, about three years ago, I think it was finished. And then because of COVID, they held it back um, until the movies reopened, the theaters reopened. Um, so when I first heard about it, I thought it would be a terrible movie because most Hollywood remakes are. And um, the re critics reviews came out and Rotten Tomatoes was like 90% solid. And then everybody saw it, um, everybody I knew or, or people on, online and stuff. And again, it just gave a great review. So I went into it knowing it was a, could be a pretty solid movie. And it was, it was a great homage to the um, the original movie. A um, little bit cheesy as you expect, typical Tom Cruise, I guess. But um, first time Tom Cruise actually looks like he's aged. Um, for the past 30 years, he's looked like he has the, like he hasn't aged at all. And then seeing that he actually has kind of, he is human, he has kind of aged a little bit, I guess. Um, but it was a really good movie. Um, plenty of action uh, and um, the, the one plot flaw, again, spoiler alert, um, the main plot flaw for me was they sent all the Tomahawk missiles in to block the runway, but why didn't they just send Tomahawk missiles in to block the um, the uranium site without sending the aircraft in? That didn't really make much sense to me, but I guess if they did that, there'd be no action, right? No movie. So um, they could quite easily just launched it from the ocean and um, blew the site up with some cruise missiles or something. But yeah, they sent the um, the aircraft in. But yeah, solid movie. Um, really enjoyed it. Definitely got me, gave me a buzz now to build some more Super Hornets or something, or maybe some um, other stuff. But that's my Top Gun kind of update, I guess. <laughs> so what I've been working on, um, just a big one, which I finished about six weeks ago. We'll talk about it in a minute. Um, not had any bench time recently, and the main reason is I finally bought a house on, I got keys on June the 2nd. So throughout May, I was looking for houses and busy doing that kind of stuff and paperwork. Got the keys on June the 2nd, and so I've had it for about a month now, and it's a lot of work needed. Um, it's gonna look pretty awesome once it's done, but pretty much every evening or weekend, I'm over there doing one-to-one -one modeling and painting and stuff. And right now I have no kitchen and my bathroom's down to the studs, so that's my priority. So I wanna be moved over by the end of July, so modeling-wise, back burner, um, and obviously my, doing my cave and stuff is going to be a backbone. I need a function kitchen and bathroom before I can get into any kind of modeling or building any kind of YouTube studio. So I've got a room, a pretty big room, three big windows, loads of lights. Um, it's going to be a pretty cool studio, place to work, um, man cave slash man cave. Um, I think also plenty of room to display some of my aircraft behind me and some of my Star Wars collectibles, that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, that although nervous thing, so much Star Wars collectibles, I had a Chewbacca original carded Return of Jedi che Chewbacca toy from 1983 um, in acrylic, all graded and stuff. And um, I was packing some stuff up early, so I couldn't find it. So that's a little concerning. So hopefully I got it somewhere. Um, I do have a few people in here do some work and stuff, but um, hopefully I can, I think I just put it in a box somewhere, hopefully. But yeah, I couldn't find it. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've been up to. So obviously once I get, once I do move over, I can get all the rest of the house set up. And then this will be the last, last priority, getting modeling stuff done. Um, once that's done, then I'll share my progress with you guys. So I'll definitely do videos when I, of me following how I do my new man cave. Um, DIY side of things, people on my Patreon and my YouTube channel members, they've seen a couple of videos now, my DIY showing what I've got going on in my house. I'm um, just kind of padding, filling out, so I get actually building again. Um, and um, that is really it. So that's kind of super busy as always, and covered in paint all over me. Um, yeah, and bug bites. I made the mistake of taking something stuff out in the backyard um, to paint some louvered doors. And um, there's so many bugs out there. My whole leg's like covered in bug bites. It sucks, but it is what it is. Anyway, back to modeling. So, Vigan, it's done. Um, again, I put the sticker on here. It's number eight of 500. Now I finished this guy about six weeks ago. So now I'm just trying to remember <laughs> what went down with this, but it, it was a lot of work. So the Vigan, it looks great, really happy how it turned out. It was a ton of work. Um, 
all resin kit definitely tested my skill level and um, again happy how this one turned out it's a lot of sounding and filling the 3d, pr 3D printer parts fit really good the cast resin parts weren't that great um, I think I've actually spent about a week or two just just sanding the wing roots, like filling, sanding, filling, sanding, um, and obviously resin. It's a lot of dust and dirt everywhere. Um, I still have some resin dust here on my desk. Weeks later, um, I, a lot of stuff I did in the kitchen sink. Um, so just wash it all away, and then even, it was like ghost resin dust coming back up. Like week later, after it was perfectly clean in the kitchen sink, and a week later, suddenly resin dust would appear around the kitchen sink. Um, so it's really dirty. Um, not sure if it's something I'll build a lot like over and over again. It's like these resin kits. It's a lot of work. I'm looking forward to getting back to plastic. Um, maybe about once every two or three years, I possibly do one. But yeah, it's. But where else can you get a 30 second scale vegan? And um, really happy again. Well, let me kind of show you. This is where I drop it in the front camera. Um, so, figure out how to hold this guy. It's really heavy too. So there she is. Do -do -do. Oh sticker dropping off and but the other side and the masking was a nightmare the maestro 40 50 dollar set um, had no instructions made no real sense on the fuselage and it was that like edward on the yellow kind of paper so you couldn't see any of like what pieces were unless you held up to the light in the window um, but again there she is big heavy awesome looking big and um, went with this scheme i think it's like farewell retirement kind of scheme um, with a purple tail and um, yeah full build series um, I think it was like a 10 or 11 parts in the end. It's, again, it's up on my Patreon and um, it'll filter its way through to YouTube later this year or start next year. Um, but yeah, it's pretty awesome, right? And a nice 30 second scale aircraft collection I got going on now. So really happy with this guy. Um, again, just a lot of work, basic modeling skills, filling, sanding, all that kind of stuff. Um, I, got, I was scared to death of cutting the canopy. It was like a resin block. But no problem with that one. I just cut it a few a little bit back, sanded it to the to the to the um the lines. And um yeah. Just thinking about um a few colours differences here and there. Um but I think I talk about my build series. I don't really need to kind of go over it too much. And plus, to be honest with you, like I said, I built it six weeks ago now, I think, so I kind of forgot a little bit some of what happened and how it went together. But um yeah, a lot of work and really happy with it. So that's the 30 second scale vegan and I might be the only person on YouTube that actually showed that one. I don't think anybody else, a few people have made it on build threads online, but I don't think anybody on YouTube actually shown um, the Jet Mads vegan. Again, limited edition 500 and this was, um, I lost the, um, yeah, number eight of 500 mine was. So that's all the rest of my aircraft I made it over to the house. Um, I Every time I go over there, I took one or two and um, no real damages, although today I moved um, the MiG-29 30 second scale onto a different shelf and like five different things fell off it, um, so I left it. So this is my last one, so fingers crossed I can get this one over to the house um, safely like the rest of them too. Um, but yeah, there we go. Also with this one, five part epoxy, obviously you can't use like extra thin and stuff because it's resin, so pretty much everything was glued with five part epoxy resin. Um, and it's Pretty strong. I definitely wouldn't use super glue for the wings because if you hold the wing, it's going to snap off. Whereas the, the epoxy, really strong, um, definitely a solid um, build. And that is it. So that's the big one. Um, number one done. Number thirty second scale kit done. And um, I think I'm really going to focus more on thirty second scale stuff upcoming. Maybe the forty eighth scale thing. So once I moved across, get all my kits over there and sort it out. I'm going to. Um, purge some of my stash i've got probably over 100 kits and um, i don't need that many so i think i'm getting rid of a lot of my figures and busts i don't really do that i'm not really inter interested in that i'm more again this kind of aircraft genre is is my my jam so i'm going to keep my i've got a few armor kits with interiors and keep those kits um i'm gonna get rid of my 70 second scale aircraft kits i think i have some pretty good ones in there i have a lot of great war hobby stuff uh, i've got um an SU-24 from Trumpeter with tons of aftermarket. I got like, like the um, the like Ukrainian camo marking, like stencils, all that kind of stuff. Um, get definitely get rid of my 72nd scale aircrafts, my 48 scale Warbirds, and get rid of all my Edward limited edition ones, um, all the P-51 Mustangs, all that kind of stuff. So going to go on eBay and sell. Um, again, like the 48 scale Warbirds don't interest me, whereas the 32nd scale stuff does more. So. That's what I'm kind of going to pivot towards more. Um, thin the stash. Um, what else have I got? 
that's really it. Um, and just we go through it. So I'll probably do it at some point, do a video once I got stuff across the house next month, um, a stash tour and go around on what all the stuff in my stash. And um, like I said, I'm gonna be offloading quite a few bits too. And um, focusing more on 30 second scale stuff for now and you're 48. Um, what have I purchased? Again, just bought a house and um, all my money's being sunk into the kitchen cabinets and um, quartz countertops and all kinds of stuff. So I'm not really buying model kits, but I did finally pick up the um, the F15 decals I mentioned a couple of months ago for the Great War Hobbies kit, Grim Reapers. And um, just released, um, as always, the decals. We see a scheme you like to buy them because a couple of years down the road, you can't get hold of these things. So I picked this up um, for my I think a couple of months ago I showed you I got the 48 scale Great War Hobbies F15 and um, it's F15C I think it was right and then but they brought out this Grim Reapers it's just a really interesting um, tail art and then they got like a coffin the speed brakes like a coffin decal right there and just something a little bit unusual so rather than usual so I got I got this one um, and I'll definitely put, put that to use as well so also came with this guy it's like a bar mat Unusually, I think it's a bar mat. Is that what it's for? A drinks coaster or something? And that is it for purchases, <laughs> short and sweet. So let me um, switch over to my, as always, to my Facebook group, go for a few things on there, um, people's work, and we'll come back and wrap this update up. Right, so as always, I'm fo I focused on five posts that caught my attention since the last video, which is about six weeks ago. Um, so I went through the um, what people posted and shared the pictures and um, again selected a few different um, subjects to share with you guys the first one here is from Kalen at White Glove Models um, not only does this lander ever turn out well but I, I remember him starting work with this a long time ago as, as his post says it took about eight months to get it done so great perseverance and he got it finished in the end and um, yeah I'm not gonna look at all 42 pictures but classic Land Rover great job and um, yeah eight months of work and he finally got the thing finished Cool. Next up is Stuart and Rebels 48 scale F15 E Strike Eagle. If you're looking for an F48 scale Eagle um, F15 E, this kit from Rebel is one of the best kits they produced. There's one or two. This and the Mirage. Um, sorry, not Mirage. The Rafael. Um, both really solid kits. Um, and you can see here, it turned out really good. And as you guys know, I'm a big fan of little vignettes, just a simple base with a couple of figures, just give you that scale perspective. And this looks pretty awesome. It's an F15E 48 scale. Again, Ravel, great kit. And just a simple base, but it just makes a huge difference. Especially in armor, I think we do any kind of armor like tanks or armor personnel carriers, just a simple base, just set it off, just make a huge difference to the kit. And there we go. Very nice. Next up is something completely different um, from RH Gan, and it's um, tabletop diorama of Hill Valley, 1955, Back to the Future. Um, there's a video here, link you can see it, but look at this thing. And sorry, go back real quick. Is there a scale on here? One, one to one six six one to one sixty scale. So, and. So N-gauge or is one to one four four scale. So it's pretty close to like N-gauge railway, I guess. It's the size of this, but he's built this whole hill valley right here from Back to the Future. Just something very different um, set there, and you see the picture frame. Just looks it's really awesome. Something you don't see so often. There it is in the glass case. Very cool. Next up, another aircraft. This time it's MJ Model Jets. It's um, SU-30. And again, on a simple base, but it just makes a huge difference, I think. Um, looking really cool. Ladders up there and everything going on. Interesting um, decals as well. Very nice. And finally, I'm going to show Robert Adams Meng's One Knife BMW HP4 race bike. I've had my own these Meng One Knife scale bikes for a while, actually. They look 
lot of, a lot of good stuff going on there. But the main thing here is this carbon work. It's, I mean, this is amazing. Like, 22 decals, five hours, and a ton of um, Mark Fit Strong to get to get it together. So this comes in a kit, I believe, the carbon fiber, but 22 decals, just how you got this conform and, and the weave and everything, it just looks perfection. I mean, decals aren't easy to put on, and just looking at this, this is fantastic. Excuse me, fantastic work. And definitely a masterclass in um, carbon fiber there. Awesome. So that's the five I picked out for this week, for this month, should I say. Um, now let's go back to me. So there we go. Some great work as always. Um, just a reminder, if you want to join the group, it's totally free. It's on Facebook and the link is in below, um, as always. Thank you as always for watching. Um, I say I'm not really focusing much on modeling the last few weeks for obvious reasons. And then next month I'm going to be pretty tied up as well. But we'll be back up and running in August. In the meantime, I have more build series videos stagged up. Um, so every Friday you'll still get a video. I think we've got one or two parts left of the Heinkel 111. And then, then I think it goes to the um, Trumpy 24th scale Hurricane. That build series is next. And then um, A6 Intruder after that with the Gulf War camo. And then after that will be the Vegan, I think. So that takes us right way through the rest of 2022. So I still have a video drop every Friday. Um, the bench updates, again, pretty short and sweet right now because I don't have to do too much work. But once we hit, you know, end of July, August time and um, I got my cave back up and running, there'll be more content coming and uh, more builds and that kind of stuff. But yeah, thanks. Have a great weekend and I'll see you later.